Friends, it's so nice to see you. It's today. The time is now. You are here, and the weather is outside your window. Today's guest works miles above the earth and has had the unique experience of being a flight attendant for 15 years. Here to tell you about it, especially how it's been this past year through a pandemic, is my friend Anna Ambrose. Hi. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. Been too long. Yeah. How How have you been? I've been good. Just living the dream of not going out in public, <laughs> not yeah. exposing my face. Right. Yeah. That's important. <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, so you're a flight attendant. Mm-hmm. So this I last have to year, wear a mask, so. yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm so curious to know about this last year and how it's impacted you and your colleagues. And um, uh, I just can't imagine. It's how... horrible right now. <laughs> yeah, I've flown um, a couple times. Yeah, people are so self-entitled and they just don't care about rules and they just want to argue with you and I'm like it's like no t-shirt no service like right. no, mask, <laughs> no service like I don't understand it's not we're not trying to bring you down it's just these are the company rules and that's actually yeah. the government rules I don't know why you're fighting with me right oh and you're so nice too and you provide like such a wonderful <laughs> You are, you are. Yes, I am nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're you're so um, friendly and personable and like. Yeah, until you cross me. Yeah, yeah, got it, <laughs> got it. <laughs> but I can't imagine someone fighting with you and especially like uh, hundreds of miles above the planet. Uh, you'd be surprised. Wow. Was there a moment where things were kind of like business as usual and then all of a sudden a shutdown affected you I know like in my world I was basically like in rehearsal and then they were like everyone's going home you know yeah I think when I noticed that like Disney and Broadway closed was yeah. when I was like uh-oh that doesn't shut down right. and then all of a sudden like a lot of people were not on our plane wow like we had like 10 people yeah wow so and yeah and it's just like every day something changed so like if i missed a week of work and i came back in something was different wow with our rules and how things were going wow so do you fly the same legs all the time or mm -mm. okay no it changes so every week yeah way. all over the place wow yeah and it was just across the board all flights were just kind of yeah and they canceled a lot of flights too wow <laughs> right <laughs> were you furloughed at all like did you ever no um they offered leaves but i couldn't take one so i didn't <laughs> right yeah wow so i worked the whole time there are a lot of people that took months off but they made everyone come back this month in june okay mm-hmm and how is it now, a year plus later? Um, a year later, um, we're full. Like all the flights are full. They don't know the rules. They want to fight with you. They want to sneak alcohol on. Oh. They want they want to argue with you is the big one. Right. Yeah. Do you have a reduction in services right now that you provide? Yes. Only do Coke, Diet Coke, Seven Up, and water. Okay. It's going to expand a little bit more to juices and coffee. We were going to do alcohol, but there was a altercation on one of our planes with a flight attendant and a passenger. Uh-oh. And they decided to indefinitely suspend alcohol. I think probably it looks like it might be till um when masks are removed that maybe we will start selling alcohol. So it could be a while. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's where it goes to people sneaking alcohol on planes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as we don't see it. Wow. Well, what what a roller coaster ride. And yes. 
yeah, you're truly an essential worker and you've been working through this whole pandemic. Mm-hmm. And I've had a pretty good disposition through it all. Well, that's your nature. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Who's that with you? This is David Rose. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hey, hi. 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 Ew. Hi. <laughs> I get to say ew, David, a lot because he farts and burps a lot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So for those that don't know, this is David Rose is a character on one of the best shows that's ever been on television. Shit's Creek. Creek. Multi award winning, <laughs> starring Catherine O'Hara and Eugene, Eugene Levy, Levy and, Daniel Levy. Yeah. Well, can I ask you, how did you? get into being a flight attendant well i used to do theater <laughs> yes and i'll say this you're you're responsible you 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 did it all for me you you got me going because you showed me a you showed me sweeney todd changed my life forever you're welcome everyone yeah <laughs> B, <laughs> B, um we were i was in my first show with you yeah Greece. We played opposite each other and became like best friends and you were my high school girlfriend. Thought. Yeah, I was his high school sweetheart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very influential in my life. And you took me to see Beauty and the Beast in yes. Tampa. That was the first like big show I'd ever seen. And I went to see you in shows. I saw you in South Pacific at the Show Palace Dinner Theater and Into the Woods. But anyway, yeah, you're basically responsible for um, infecting me with the theater bug, and yeah. it's all, you're all downhill to from there. Oh, <laughs> uh, what had happened was I was doing theater, and um, I had a friend that had a job about being a flight attendant, and I kind of interviewed him about what it would entail because I needed a job on the side, you know, like all actors, we do yeah. something or bartending. So I was like well, can I be a glorified waitress in the sky? Which were more than that. I thought, hey, wait, I could go on audition since I can fly for free. Right. You know? And right. I actually did that with you. We went to a few auditions um, yeah. on Broadway. Yeah. And, yeah. But then this job kind of became a regular paycheck. Right. I didn't have to wish on a star for my next job that's so that's I kind nice. of, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind yeah. of weird like not having to worry about your next job so and also the longer I stayed here the more seniority you have the better the pay gets the better the schedule gets and long story short 15 years plus later I'm still a flight attendant wow well I love following you on Instagram and just seeing you know your your pics with your colleagues and places you're going hey. but yeah do you love it yeah I, I love my job I'm good at it um I'm it, sure you're good at it <laughs> <laughs> it's just sometimes it's just it's it's tough it's not as easy people are like flight attendant Ooh, it's so glamorous I'm like right, right, tell right. me that after a 10-hour day in heels wearing a mask right right you know <laughs> yeah and the sleep schedule yeah. must be really tough when you're going back and forth I'm still trying to fix my sleep schedule from this past weekend where I was on the West Coast. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. No, that's yeah. always tough for me yeah. as well. Yeah. It's tough on me when I have a gig on the West Coast and I go and, but it takes me like a week to figure out my sleep schedule, but you land and then have to fly back home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you spend like one night and yeah. Yeah. That's I try I, to adapt. I can't imagine. Do you wake up in hotels not knowing where you are? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the time. I'm like, oh, where am I? What's the time? I'm like trying to readjust and try to figure out like, can I call people back home right now? What what planet am I on? Right. Like, right. Do you get to fly with some of the same colleagues often? Um, sometimes. Sometimes it's a brand new person. Wow. But I mean, it depends on the personality. You could become best friends after like one flight. Right. It just, you try to find who you get in sync with. Right. So. Have you met people that are like lifelong friends? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. I was just in someone's wedding. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I love that. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's so cool. I mean, I'm, I keep looking for you on flights and 
I haven't found you yet. So I know. Where am I? It'll happen. Somewhere. I mean, it does happen. I've had friends show up on my flight where I'm like, hey, what's up? That's so cool. Yeah. Well, can I ask you some questions? No. Where are you right now? I am in Atlanta, Georgia. Zodiac sign. Cancer. First show you ever did. I'll go first professional. Guys and dolls. What was the first show you ever did like in your life? I think I played Little Red Riding Hood in a summer camp um, in, I think it was Korea. Favorite musical ever? I love Miss Saigon. Favorite actor ever? I've always loved Marlon Brando. Do you believe in past lives? Yes. Who were you in a past life? Someone not as wise as I am today. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid of heights, so even though I'm a flight attendant, I know. But like loose heights where like I'm on a balcony or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I died falling. Rock climbing? Yeah. Like that. yeah. I mean, I would never rock climb now. I mean, no. that's just a, too much activity. Would you skydive? <laughs> <laughs> Get the f- out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't no. either. But how do you do it then when you're up in the air and you're like- I'm not in control of it. I, I feel like I'm just like on a big vessel. It's chill. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever get scared when you're in the air? There's times where it can be scary, but for the most part, when it gets gets turbulent, I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. It's like someone's rocking me to bed. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. My mom was actually surprised I became a flight attendant because she said I used to get sick every time we would fly. Wow. So. Wow. I guess I've just gotten used to it. I'll, I'll admit that I still get scared every time I take off and land. Oh, really? Yeah. Once we're like coasting, I'm like, all right, probably okay. But take off and landing, I'm just like, oh. How many flights have you done now? I mean, thousands. Like thousands <laughs> upon thousands? Upon yeah. Thousands. yeah. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Over 15 years. And you do multiple in a day sometimes, I'm sure. Yeah, like three to four. Yeah, it's- Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> wow. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Would imagine so. It on. used to be tea. I used to not like coffee. Yeah. This job got me into coffee. I was going to say. <laughs> so, Favorite color? Red or pink or black. Favorite vacation spot? I love New York City. Beach or mountains? Depending who I'm with, but I'm going to say mountains if it's romantical, beach if it's with like friends. Got it. Okay, you can pick one like famous fashion designer to recreate your uniform. Who is it? Chanel. Favorite song ever? Smile by Charlie Chaplin. You can have an entire weekend away with anyone who has ever lived. I've always wanted to see him perform, so I'm sure he would sing for me, but Freddie Mercury. I think it would be a fun weekend. (laughs) Totally. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Okay, you can go to any planet. Uranus. (laughs) (laughs) Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> you can live in any time period. Um, people were so racist back in the day. <laughs> like, I'm just not really yeah. feeling going back too you can far. Stay here. You can go forward. Yeah, can I just stay where I'm at? Totally. Well, okay, you can spend an entire year living as another person. Who is it? I don't know who the person is, but I want to go on private jets, some PJs and some yachts and stuff, and just live that life for a second. Yeah. And maybe appreciate my life a little bit more because, you know, the grass isn't always greener. Yeah, true. Yeah. Have you been on a private jet? No, I want to go on one. Yeah, you deserve to. I do too. Yeah. (laughs) Like as a passenger. Yeah, as a passenger, yes. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) With a crew of like eight, just for you. I mean, I'd be so nice. Yeah. I would probably tell them to chill with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure you would. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can go back in time to any time in your life and okay. tell your younger self one thing. I can't say I regret anything because it's led me to where I'm at now. I have to just say I wouldn't change anything. I love that. What is the meaning of life? Love. Love. Yeah. Amen. Thanks for coming on What Happened Was. It's great to see you. And um, good to see you too. And David. And uh, 
if you don't hear it enough, you're very appreciated and respected and everyone appreciates you high in the sky and on the earth. Thank you. Yeah, I know it's so hard what you've been doing, especially in a pandemic and wearing a mask and it's, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No, thank you for thank No, you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an exit row. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, puppies and rainbows till we meet again.